towards the end of the day. I just finished um, filming the other um, unboxing for the Ricky's um, Colt, cr Colt Crushes. And so I used um, the Bioderma um, foaming gel cleaning thing on my face. It smelled very manly. It smelled like cologne, not gonna lie. But it did feel fine. It felt nice. Um, it had a cooling sensation at first, so I thought that was weird. I think that might have to do with the cologne, maybe, potentially. I don't know. Anyways, um, so now it's going to be an unboxing of um, Boxy Charm and Glossy Box, and I have a fresh face. So I'm really excited to kind of make this um, both an unboxing and a try on. So I'm going to quickly go through the stuff that's in the boxes, and then I'm going to try it on and kind of like do a fast forward and then a thoughts at the end. Um, so um, I also, after I washed my face, used the uh, post makeup recovery spray um, from my um, Ricky's Cold Crushes um, subscription and the first first couple sprays like maybe spray it like away from you at first the first couple sprays were a little bit like well like in your face but then after that the sprayer kind of gets um, you know the juice is going I suppose and then um, it has a nice finer mist after that but the first couple of sprays didn't feel so good it was just like ah water in my face um but um it did feel kind of nice I, I'll keep on using that and see um what I think about that whether or not I feel like that's helped with my acne or anything like that um and then I did put on um the pomegranate lip butter from that as well and um it felt all right. I mean, it's not like the best lip butter that I've ever had um, or anything. I still have um, my favorite lip balm is like a cocoa butter lip balm, but um, I'm excited that I get to try them out and kind of give you my thoughts on them. Um, so let's get into BoxyCharm, guys. Um, so it comes in a box like this. Inside, it opens up, and it is... Rock 2018 and inside we have here is um, a Dr. Brandt luminizer um, so base luminizer pours no more um, we also have an it brow power um, it cosmetics um, universal brow pencil in universal taupe so we'll see about that um, my eyebrows, if you've um, watched some of my other videos in the very beginning, I've literally done nothing to my eyebrows ever until like a few weeks ago. Um, I never tweeze them, I never put any product on them, and when I look at myself in the viewfinder of the camera, I realize that my eyebrows kind of completely disappear with how blonde they are. <laughs> so I've actually found doing my eyebrows quite fun so I'm excited to try that out and then we also have a Girlactic um, lipstick uh, per bronze and brighten Ooh, I have some intense shades there and I like the mirror I'm gonna, oh my gosh I sneezed excuse me <laughs> pardon me um, winter. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. And then we have the Glam Metals um, Eyeshadow Palette by Crown. Ooh. And it has a cute little um, mirror in the shape of a guitar. So that's really cute. And um, I actually, the colors look really nice too. So I'm excited to try those on with you guys. Um, so that's what is in um, the boxy charm um, box. So let's go ahead and try some stuff on.
look I mean <laughs> look how pigment that is it's super pigmented um, but the bronzer you can go really overboard with that I mean in the mirror I just like thought I had like a little bit of bronzer on like you couldn't you couldn't really 
see the definition as much in the mirror, like in real life, but like in the viewfinder, when I looked over here and I was like, whoa, you can really see the definition for the bronzer. I mean, it is pretty intense. Um, so I'm not sure whether or not visually someone else, like just person to person is going to notice like how much pigmented that bronzer is or whether or not it's just you on the screen, whether or not you guys are the ones that have to be blinded by it. But, um, really enjoy how pigmented these are. I mean, that blush, I mean, I don't know whether or not I enjoyed it as a blush per se, but it's a very pretty color. Um, I might use these as eyeshadows with how pigmented they are. I mean, look at that. But, um, the highlighter, that was fun. I mean, who doesn't like a good highlight? I think I'm addicted to highlighter in general. Um, but the lipstick um, went on very smooth, very, very moisturizing. Um, it dried. It's dried down. Um, so no more transfer on it. It's a nice neutral color. I think it goes with a lot of things, especially if you want to go bam on the eye color and stuff like that. As for the palette, um, it's not as pigmented as I would prefer it. Honestly, I really great, like, um, selection of kind of neutral colors, but the black just isn't quite as black as I'd like it to be. And the shimmery shades just aren't quite as shimmery as I'd like them to be. But if you're into that kind of thing, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's, it's a nice look, um, but I probably would have, um, whoops, oh, I'm dropping things. I'm, I'm pretty in love with the, the Too Faced, um, black right there. Cause it has some shimmer to it and it's a little bit more pigmented. Um, but, um, I also really love like the super shock shadows from ColourPop as well. And honestly, a part of me would not feel complete with this eye look without adding like a super shock shadow from ColourPop. Um, it's like, it's just adding sparkle. It's called Tassel. And it just makes me happy. So I'm just gonna add that on real quick. Not like I'm not wearing like enough shimmer with that, um, <laughs> with that highlighter, but Boxy Charm did really well this month. I mean, I got an eyeshadow palette, which I mean, it's not bad. Like the the color selection's actually pretty nice. It's just it's not going to contain like everything that I want in um in like a palette, but not every palette that you get actually does do that. I mean, you end up digging through a bunch of different products sometimes in order to get like your preferred look. So that's no big deal to me. Um, and I like it. And the Guralactic matte lip paint, I think it feels wonderful. It doesn't feel drying at all. Obviously, I haven't had it on for like a super long time, um, but I put it on first so that I could kind of get a little bit more of experience with the lipstick before the rest of the, the face. But um, we'll see with time whether or not I really enjoy that. Um, but the, the eyeshadows were nice. Um, I really like the Bronze and Brightener by Pure. I mean really pigmented. You could use these as shadows. I really love the highlighter. Love to have a great highlight. Um, the bronzer, I'll probably use that more as like an eyeshadow instead of a bronzer. I might use it as a bronzer if I get like just a little tiny bit on my brush, but it's really hard to tell how much you actually have on your brush. And like in the mirror, 
it looks really good. Like, I can't tell that I have, like, a bunch of bronzer on in the mirror. And maybe in real life, when someone sees me in person, they can't tell that I have a bunch of bronzer on. But I look in that viewfinder over there, and it's it's pretty intense. Like, I mean, like, you see it, guys. Um, <laughs> but the... It brow power is actually really nice too and I got a chance to kind of use um, the dual ended brush from the um, Ricky's cult um, the cult subscription um, that I got from them and this is actually pretty soft I really like um, and actually the dual ended would work and I would have used this sponge instead of my other sponge but it wasn't damp so I have to give that a try again, but I found myself flipping it and actually using the sponge and then realizing that it doesn't, it's not like wet, so it doesn't really help me try and get rid of the bronzer that I overdosed on, but I didn't think I would like the dual ended, but I'm not going to lie, I kind of do. All awesome products, um, and then I topped it off with a DHC um, liquid eyeliner and an IT Superhero um, mascara to complete the look, and unfortunately for me, I mean, I feel like I'm ready to, like, go out and see some people and, you know, socialize with this look now, and unfortunately it's, like, late and so I will not be doing that um so I feel like my my look has gone to waste I'm just gonna you know clean it off and go to bed pretty soon um but um before I go I am gonna open um my glossy box for you guys I'm all done up for glossy box guys all courtesy of boxy charm <laughs> awkward <laughs> maybe <laughs> so there it is um as always I, I mean not all not as always I mean like they do get different boxes sometimes but I this box is nice pink kind of plain um this today oh, I gotta get this stuff off my off my wrist before I continue otherwise I'm getting it everywhere I just got it on my pants because I set my wrist down on my pants already and it just smeared everywhere Good thing for detergent. Um, so we're going to open this up. So inside here we have fresh face and oh, this is cute. It says velvet. What's in it? It's like a cute little card with Velcro. Velveteyewear.com from us to you. A $25 gift card. What? That's cute. Does it mean that I have to like have a minimum purchase? It says um, use code sell. Oh, I don't. Maybe it's like a um, maybe it's a universal code. I'll figure out soon. Um, but it says one time use, no minimum spend required. Can be applied to any item on our website. Wow, that's really cool. I'm excited to see what they have on their website. And that's cool to add that in there. And then so glossy box, fresh face. Um, coming soon, dear glossies. And a big giant thing of everything that's in your box. I was technically spoiled. Don't worry, I won't spoil it for you. Um, so we'll open it up again. Undo our little bow here. Mm. I'm just going to rip into it, guys. So there it is inside of your box there. Okay, so, oh, it's a um, mini size of um, Box and Big T's um, mascara. Um, they actually had the full size of this in the Glossy box. Box's um, limited edition that I holiday box. So I actually do already have this in the big full size. So I'm going to save this and put this aside so that um, who knows if I get enough subscribers, I can do a giveaway and this can be included in that since I already have it. And then um, the next item in here is mural oil transforming hair serum 
um, sulfate free, safe for color, keratin treated hair, you know, normal stuff that serums do. Um, I, I might use it. I honestly don't use a lot of hair products except for when I'm in the shower or coming right out of the shower. So, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't take care of my hair as much as I probably should maybe, or I don't know. So the next item in here is Steve Laurent's um, lip gloss. What a cute container in dusty rose. Mm. I'd put this on, but I already have like liquid lipsticks. I didn't plan this very well, guys. Maybe I'll put that on after I wash my face and see how it feels. And then we have Dr. Botanicals Vegan Friendly um, Moroccan Rose Super food facial oil. Oh, fancy. Vitamin, vitamins, oils for brighter, even skin tone. You can see I don't use face oils very often. It's not a thing. I usually do like moisturizers, but, um, we shall see. Um, and the last item in here is purity drops. Um, hydrating eye gel so i will use this after i wash my face and i shall put on my face oil and then put on these purity dew drops and moisturize my lips with some lip gloss I'm, I'm not going to use the hair oil today. It's just not going to happen. But next time I do my hair, I will see how I feel about hair oil. I did try a hair oil once from a sample from Birchbox before, and I did like it. But then, and I used it a few times, and I was like, oh, this is really nice. I should do hair oil more often. And then it just it sits on the counter and then I forget about it or I move it somewhere and then I forget about it. And then next thing you know, I'm not using the hair stuff anymore. I mean, <laughs> I should be better about this. Maybe that should be a new year's resolution. Probably not. Anyways, that's what's in the box guys. It was really um, fun opening some stuff with you. If you love these videos, please thumbs up, subscribe below, and give me a comment on what you got in your boxes if you subscribe as well. If you're thinking about subscribing, which ones are you thinking about getting? If there's a subscription that I don't cover and that you absolutely love, feel free to comment below. Um, tell me about your faves. Um, boxy charm, do you glossy box, do you ipsy birch box, Ricky Fjord, Colt, Sing the Jigger, 